Hey guys, <clears throat> Brad here at my way. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So I'm uh, going to tell you what I did tonight so that you guys don't ever do the same thing. So we're, uh, yeah, we're doing a simple oil change. We're doing a simple oil change on the 2017 Silver Auto. Yeah, we're doing a simple oil change, so... Uh, I drain the oil, I remove the filter, I put the new filter on. I think to myself, huh, that didn't seem to thread on all that far. So I, I unscrew it again, I look at it, looks fine, I screw it back on, I feel the rubber, you know, cushion there, I give her a little squeeze, tighten it up a bit, I think, oh, the threads look shallow on the filter, I guess that's it. So I uh, add my oil, look underneath, everything looks just ducky, looks fine. So then I uh, get inside the truck, I fire it up and I'm watching my oil pressure gauge and the sucker doesn't really come up. It says shut the engine off, I got low oil pressure. Low oil pressure, huh. Okay, so I turn it off. I think, well, must have had an air bubble there or something. I didn't get out, have a look, I fire it back up, same shit, I turn it off again, I get out, oh my fucking god, I mean, sorry, but, oh my god, I had a uh, hundred dollars worth of synthetic fluid oil, zero W20, all over my goddamn floor, sprayed underneath the truck, everywhere else. I'm like, what in the hell has gone on? Okay, so I get underneath the truck and I discover that it's coming from the oil filter area. I think to myself, well, what goes on with that? I unscrew it to realize that, you know, here I am working under the truck, not having a good look. I realized that the second rubber from the original filter stuck to the block so I go put another filter on top with the rubber stuck there. Not smart enough to realize that. I mean, I've changed. This is the biggest mess I've ever made. I've changed oil in all my vehicles all my freaking life. And uh, literally, I've never, never, ever done something like this. I had a, a, a pond of synthetic oil here on my floor. And, uh, not a good time. Not a good time. So anyway, um, a whole box of kitty litter. Weighs about 50 pounds now in the bag. Maybe, maybe 60 because of the oil. Maybe a little more. I used the whole bag of rags, basically, that I had. They're all in the bag there as well. So we'll add another five pounds for that. Yeah, it's probably about a 70 pound bag. So what I'm saying, guys, don't be an idiot like me. Make sure that the filter, the ring from the old filter comes off the engine block before you proceed to pour eight liters of 020 synthetic into your engine and then blow it all over the bottom of your truck and the floor of your shop. I'm an idiot. Thanks for watching. Hope you could subscribe and, uh, you know, pass the, the good stuff on. Okay, people, take care.